I think it absolutely is an integral part of that legacy. I think that, that must be one of the reasons why Doe has also chosen to do a development uh, to, uh, to close to disadvantaged communities like Dipslet. Because uh, even, the, even although the poorest of the poor might not be able to come and live in Stain City, they certainly going to derive huge benefits just by the jobs that we're going to create, quality jobs. Uh, and the biggest part of that is for them to be able to roll out of bed and come and work on their doorstep. Uh, I mean, we know what the cost of transport is for these communities. Some of them spend up to half of their salaries in just trying to get to work and back. And that's not just, that's just from the financial side. Also, spending two, three hours in the morning and two, three hours in the afternoon, uh, you know, trying to get from one taxi to the other must cause havoc at home. And, and, and that, that will create major beneficiation, I believe, in their lives. I was just going to change the life of, an, of, a, of a Joburg person who decides to move here. I, I think, you know, what we've tried to do here, if you look at the cities of old, you know, you know I, you're a youngster, I'm an older guy, but I can tell you, when I was a youngster, I could, I could play in the streets. And, you know, I was a youngster just 40, 50 years ago. Uh, and even although there was cars there, there certainly weren't uh, the volume of traffic that there is today. Uh, I can tell you for a fact that my kids, uh, I don't think have ever been out of the house without the mother giving them a lift where they've walked to the shops. Because you can't trust the traffic, it's not a crime problem. It's the way we've evolved, uh, where the roads were for the people, uh, the roads now inaccessible for the people. We live in islands, islands surrounded by a sea of traffic that we cannot breach. And I think that's what we've tried to breach here, to get away from. And that can mean only a huge, huge improvement in the lifestyle here. The uniqueness of the lifestyle of Sensity, would you like to just uh, elaborate on that? Well, the uniqueness is that you're going to wake up in the morning, you're going to fall out of bed, and you're going to be spoiled for a choice of whether you're going to go fishing, whether you're going to go cycling, whether you're going to go jogging, or just for a walk with your wife, without having to spend an hour in the car to get there to do that, or whether you want a gym. And you, after an hour of exercise, you can come back home, you can have breakfast, you can spend, spend a little bit of time on your computer before you go wherever you wish to go. I think it could save two, three hours a day. And, and just get to live the way we should be living as humans. And why is this uniquely like a city and not like a normal Gulf estate, for example? Well, because if you look at the Gulf estates, I mean, there's a lot of open ground, for instance, but really when you examine it in closer proximity, you'll find that it's just there for a few golfers that are playing on the golf. Everybody else is banned from going on the golf course. Yeah, by far the majority of the open ground is parks for the everyday pedestrians. Not only that, the golf course itself is designed in such a manner that anybody can feel free to walk around the golf course without interfering play. We've given the pedestrians priority. Over a thousand acres of this estate is public open space. I don't think there's many uh, developments that have allowed for that. And any other, other factors that make it more like a city, like bus routes, like uh, Absolutely, hospitals? the sheer density. Uh, you know, the reason, uh, you know, even although we've got free residential homes, we're going to be encouraging people of today to live in apartment living. Because it's, you know, if you've got such magnificent open space at your doorstep. You don't have to put four walls around you and call a little piece of ground yours. You can share with the community, you get to know your neighbors. Uh, that, that on its own, we'll call it a city, is the high residential opportunities. So this has been 15, 15 years in the making. How do you feel today now that it's launched? Well, it's a huge relief. Uh, I think we've only had positive comments from everybody who's been here uh, and we look forward to going on to the next phase and generate more and more jobs uh, and make a difference in our society. It's been hugely, hugely uh, satisfactory for me from a creative point of view and uh, I think this is, uh, uh, you know, those stains uh, 
uh, names carved in stone here and I think I've left a footprint on the ground.